Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Valorant in 2023. The ultimate guide. So we're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now, first parameter is the display mode. I really recommend to go with full screen. Don't use borderless. It has a little bit of input lag and some stuttering also. So not a huge fan of it. For the resolutions, make sure that you're playing native. So depending on your monitor. So if you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. 4K, go with 4K. And super important, look at the amount of Hertz in uh, over there. Because, uh, for example, if you have a 144 Hertz and you see 60 uh, you, you have an issue, so make sure that you're matching your monitor. After that, I don't use uh, any uh, special parameter over there. It's pretty much default. Uh, I just limit my FPS when I'm in the menu or, or alt tab because uh, you don't want to run 800 FPS when you are in the menu. So that's pretty much why I'm doing it. And for the NVIDIA Reflex, I recommend to go with on. I'm not a huge fan of on plus boost. I reduce my latency for like one or two ms but i put a lot of more load on my gpu uh for the thermals i'm getting like eight to ten degrees more uh, so not a huge fan for the benefit that will uh, it will provide you so use on for this one for the graphic i really recommend to use multi-thread rendering if you have a cpu with more than four core so if you have i don't know a, the latest ryzen processor the 7 1800x 3d definitely go with on over there i recommend to go with low for material quality detail and ui quality just want pure fps texture it's a question of preference a lot of people like to play at low but it will not affect your fps if you have more than 4 gig of vram on your gpu you can definitely go with i do some testing i know a lot of people are saying that at i they feel like uh, too much noise in the texture me honestly i don't really care i like my texture at i and everything else at low for vignette, I recommend to go with off. V-Sync off, you don't want to use any V-Sync on any uh, competitive game. It add input lag in your game. If you have technology like G-Sync or Freaky Sync, you can definitely use that. But I definitely recommend in Valorant, just unlock your FPS. Anti-aliasing, not a huge fan of it. It adds blurriness in the game. Uh, if you can't play without anti-aliasing because you don't like the way your game look, definitely use the MSAA2X. It's a good compromise. For anisotropic filtering, I recommend to go with 4X. Improved quality, not a huge fan of it. It tanks your FPS. If you have like a, I don't know, a 4090, definitely you can test it. But just use NVIDIA parameter, uh, like improve your vibrance and stuff like that. So I don't recommend to use that. And everything else, I recommend to go at off maximum FPS for maximum visibility. The only parameter also that I can recommend you is the R uh, HRTF for the sound. It's really good to know where are, are the people. I know a lot of some folks don't like to using it. So I definitely do some testing when you're using it. And uh, it's very, it, it's great when you're playing the game and you're used to. So I recommend to using that. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Valorant 2023 guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.